Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Adolescence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. Today I'm joined by my good friend Carlos. Hey, what's up? Carlos has a YouTube channel, of course, called Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. All of the information is going to be down below. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Banana Republic. This one is not as new as some of their more recent releases, but this one is a flanker to Black Walnut and it's called Black Walnut Legend. So make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin my fragrance review of Black Walnut Legend by Banana Republic, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxing, special guests, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner and then once again, Carlos's information is going to be down below, so definitely make sure to give him a subscription as well. So I actually received black walnut my grandmother bought it for me back in 2007 mm -hmm. so she made a trip to europe to greece specifically and she bought two fragrances by banana republic and she paid like full retail i think this one place called hondo center and she bought slate and black walnut she gave one to me she gave the other one to my brother my brother was never really a fan of fragrances and so i kind of stole his bottle uh -huh. as i've done <laughs> with many other bottles of his in the past including guerlain homme and armani code and wow. so on and so forth uh but i remember black walnut being one that i really really enjoyed this one was not given to me by my grandmother this one was actually sent to me by so avant-garde i'm going to leave all of the information down below you can find this product there and i think they have a lot of really incredible niche brands this is a designer brand of course but they also have a lot of hard to find niche brands and for some of them that's the only point of access in the united states so definitely make sure to check it out now this one i put my nose on it i don't know if you would agree with me carlos but it kind of reminded me of another more popular niche fragrance would you say so in the case of this I gotta fragrance smell it again okay <laughs> <laughs> want to spray it or no yeah let me give it a fresh spray why not so this one is one that i wore two or three days in a row last week and I find it to be a really good sort of office casual fragrance. Do you get something from it right yeah, away? Yeah, Ventus. Okay. Yep. But it's the fruity, bright opening. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it goes, where it winds up in the um, development on skin, but right this minute on this paper, sure. It's a, a fruity, bright, Aventus type <laughs> of uh, aroma <laughs> yeah you're right you know aventus has that bright pineapple juicy apple bergamot thing going on in the opening and okay maybe although the pineapple is in here and there's a tart quality about it that i really do enjoy i find that the bergamot is much stronger in this fragrance than it would be in some other aventus iterations if you will bergamot definitely can give off a fruity vibe in fragrances oh yeah especially at a high dose um, there are things that I found to smell like a Ventus E that don't have any pineapple in, in it, but just a really strong dose of a good quality bergamot, and it comes off like a Ventus. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and what I like about this one is that it has that vanilla as well. Full disclosure, I didn't take a look at a note breakdown or anything like that, but I'm certainly picking up on a little bit of vanilla in this one. And I think it's the pairing of that tart fruitiness in the opening, as well as the vanilla, that really puts us mm. into agreeable territory. I know one of the things that Aventus is notorious for is its use of birch, especially in the mm -hmm. earlier iterations. This one isn't smoky to me. No. It's actually, it's almost like the smoke has been replaced with musk. It's kind of like this musky, clean, I hate to use the term mall scent because I feel like a lot of times it's used as a pejorative and in the case of this fragrance, it's not. Because being as though Aventus is a niche fragrance, this one could be said to have niche quality. So it's one of those agreeable elements in the base with that sort of musk, that clean, uh, mass appealing musk that I get from it that I think really rounds out the fragrance. This is a crowd pleasing scent, <laughs> like nothing to think about. <clears throat> Yeah. The women will definitely love this. Uh, guys will love it. I, I think it's it, it smells good. It smells good, and I'm sure it's priced very reasonably. Yeah, Banana Republic fragrances always have a knack for, you know, making sure that they're not priced too highly within affordable territory. So I actually wore this one, like I said, two or three days in a row last week, and I was entering the car. My wife and I were getting ready to go to Hoboken, New Jersey to run some errands. 
and I did maybe three or four sprays because I didn't want to overdo it. Um, mm -hmm. I was actually sampling this one, another new one called Grasslands, uh, which is also pretty cool. And then when I entered the car, she goes, oh, I like what you're wearing today. And it's quite rare nowadays that I hear that from her, especially <laughs> as I'm testing fragrances mm -hmm. and there's a lot of really hardcore niche fragrances that are kind of avant-garde. Sure. So I definitely don't get praised the way that I once used to. But mm -hmm. when you're dealing with a fragrance that contains the Aventus gene, you're likely to uh, experience that. Well, you, you're both working from home-ish, kind of. So you she's around when you're smelling a thousand things. So I'm sure she had enough <laughs> at some point of the day where like, okay, enough is enough. She smells a fragrance and it's like, ah, oh, there's a breath of fresh air. You mm -hmm. know, after smelling ouds and ambers and incense and smokes and stuff like that. I gotta be honest, on my channel, whenever I do any of the current uh, Banana Republic, especially from the Icon collection, and, and I did sure. get that grassland. Whenever I do review these current ones and the Neroli Wood one, mm -hmm. people will always ask about uh, Black Walnut. Oh, really? But I've, okay. never, I've never smelled it, I've never reviewed it. And uh, I only know the current Banana Republic offerings. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, their fragrance catalog does go way back. But of course, it's only recently that they put out such a variety of different fragrances to sort of cater to a lot of consumers. And I think that this one is certainly going to be a hit among most consumers just because of that similarity that it does bear to Creed's Aventus. It has that pineapple. It has the vanilla. There's this mossy and musky quality in the base. And I think that that's the thing that makes this less of a clone and more of a fragrance that bears an Aventus gene is the fact that it does kind of do its own thing in the dry down, which I think is really special. I think with a lot of fragrances that do get compared to Creed's Aventus, whether it be Vespero by Jeroboam or Orion by Tiziana Terenzi or any number of other fragrances, mm -hmm. a lot of times people say, well, it's different in this way and it's different in that way. And that's true because I feel like there is a series of ingredients where when they're used in combination with one another, it is sort of going to create that Aventus effect. And that's precisely what is happening in here, but it does do its own thing in the base, give it a chance to dry down but and I enjoy it. Excuse me, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but I, I think that I'm not not to sound uh, conceited or anything, but when you're, if just somebody who likes fragrances, who doesn't really smell as many things as, as we do, you can, we can discern if it goes in a different direction um, or, you know, it starts off like Aventus, but it's not really quite a clone because, right. for instance, something like Hachivat goes smoky and earthy. And, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, you really have to pay it, like at first spray and, ah, oh, that's Aventus. You gotta wait to see how it dries <laughs> down a little bit that's to right. see if it goes from start to finish like Aventus. Um, there are so many lemon-based fragrances that you could say, oh, this is that, this is that, this is that. But if you wait until the dry down, it could be a great dry down, it could be a horrible dry down. But you have to kind of really give the fragrance a full, paying attention to and a full wearing to see what the different nuances and things are. And also do a side by side. <laughs> that helps a lot. Cause when you smell the two, you're like, oh yeah, they're actually quite different. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, that's exactly blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna say I, I know more than you, but I'm gonna go try it. And most times out of not, it's, it doesn't smell exactly the same. You're right, so. yeah. Trust your own nose, be your own yeah, judge, yeah. go out there. If you like it, you like it. Hey, if Mont Blanc Explorer did it, then why can't Banana Republic, right? <laughs> but no, this is a, a really good scent, especially for the price that it's going for. Definitely check it out. All of the information is gonna be down below. I hope you enjoy it. And I also look forward to covering more Banana Republic fragrances on my channel, as I find that they will appeal to a large percentage of my subscribers. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Carlos, thank you once again. My for being pleasure, on my channel. anytime. Really, really appreciate that all the time. Once again, Carlos's information is gonna be down below. Definitely check him out. Thank and you. also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And again, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.